Hello there. I've had a lot of questions lately about course mapping, so I've decided to do a screencast uh, to show how I do it. Quick and simple, I think, now that I understand it. So follow along. Um, anytime you're doing course mapping, I like to have a couple of windows open, so I'm just going to search for an old course here. Something I can map and not uh, mess around with too much. So you're going to want to find your two or three or four courses that you want to map. You can have a few different ones. Uh, we have a lot of different alt ed courses that have more than one section, e-learning courses running that have more than one section. So you want to be able to map those together so the teacher doesn't have to run four different sections of something. So here you can see I've got two sections of uh, uh, literature studies course, sorry, uh, literacy studies course. And we're going to map, we're going to want to map to this first one, section A. So I'm going to open that in a new window. There that is there. I'm going to get to my course options. In my other window, I'm going to go to the course mapping tools. And here now you're inside course mapping. Um, and I'm going to go to course mapping right here and I'm going to find those two courses in English that we were just looking at. There they are there, literacy skills A and B. And if you open those up you can see the associated file with those two courses. And I'm gonna I'm gonna map to this section A, so I'm gonna unmap section B right here. So right click, remove course, OK, and now that's unmapped. I'm gonna head back over to the other window to the course offering information in the section I want to map to and grab the course offering code. That's a key part of of mapping and need that to, to put the two courses together. <clears throat> so now back in my new window I'm on unmap listings and there's that course right here that I unmapped section B of the literacy studies course. So I'm going to check it and add it. There it is you can see I've selected it. Now I want to make a grouping. And Here's my different options that come up. So remember that course code I copied from over here in my second window, the course offering code. Well, now I'm going to click down here on Assign D2L Course. Pop that into the search. There's the section A that I want to map to, so I'm just going to click on that. And that's going to populate some information over here in the second window here. And essentially now I began to map it. So template name, I'm going to go grab that in that other window for my section A. I'm going to copy it paste it in. Template code should already be there, should be the same, but let's just make sure. And there it is, exactly the same. Oh no, that's the Section 8 template code, so paste that in. Department English, activate the course. Course offering name, you can call it whatever you want, but just make sure that course offering code doesn't change, because that's what we put in there from uh, when we assigned the D2L course. I like to do a little renaming of these courses, so I know that it's a course that I mapped I might do something like just putting the semester numbers at the end. Uh, once you've done that, once you've filled in the, the proper information, you don't need to put anything in the uh, cohort code. Click on Make Offering. It tells you that the following courses are about to be groups, grouped. And make that offering. And you're done. Overnight that'll run, and uh, in the next morning you'll come in and you'll see those two courses under the one heading here on the section A. And so both those class lists will show up in one course and the teacher doesn't have to run two courses.